<laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. You surprised me. Hi. Welcome to the Shadar Schools Flora and Fauna Challenge. Today we're going to show you how to create your study sites in which you're going to be performing point counts. You're going to need one with at least one large shade tree and one with no shade trees but a shrub. So once you locate your shade tree like this one here and you've measured it, you're going to have to establish the center of the circle in which you'll be doing your studies. This can be the shade tree or the shrub, but if it's not, you're going to use one of the flags provided to create the center of your circle. However, you're going to have to remember where the center is in relation to that tree or shrub. So plant the flag, use one that we provided, then just call a friend over to help you out. Hey. Yeah! So you'll need to know the direction that the center is in relation to your tree or shrub. Just use a compass or smartphone, and then you'll have to measure exactly how far the center is from the center of your shade tree or shrub. You'll record that information so you can recreate that circle every time you're out without leaving any flags in the ground. You'll do this for both sites. Once you've done that, you'll have to measure 20 feet out from the center of the circle to create the boundary of your study site. You'll do this four times. A friend is very useful for this particular endeavor. Once again, the radius of each study circle is going to be 20 feet. You'll plant four flags around the center of your circular study site and that will create an invisible boundary in which you will be performing your point counts. So here we've already planted one flag for the boundary and then we have three others and you'll count any birds that you've seen or heard within that circle during the point count period. We'll also need to know how close any buildings or roads are to the boundary of your study sites. So pick the nearest point from that invisible circle to the road or building nearby. And then you'll measure and record exactly how far it is from your study site. You'll do this from both sites. Again, a friend is very useful. You'll record all of this information on the hard copy of your data sheets and then you'll be able to start performing your point counts. Great job. We'll see you soon. Thanks.